One thing that waves do, all kinds of waves do this, light waves do this the same way. We're going to see how waves reflect. Uh, what I have here is a wave pulse that's moving to the right. Right over here, what you can't see right there is that this is actually attached to a wall. It's a spring attached to a wall. And what happens is this. This, spring, this wave is going to reflect from where it's attached to the wall. And I want you to watch this, and I want you to tell me what's different about the reflected pulse. Notice it reflects back. And we'll see this live version as well. But the wave, when it hits the wall, it is reflected. But what's different about the reflected pulse? It's inverted. The reflected pulse is inverted. In other words, it's upside down. If you send a crest and it's fixed, in other words, attached to the wall right there, what you get back in the reflection is a trough. OK. Uh, so now what I'm going to show you is this. Here's the live version of that with a fixed end. A crest which is sent is reflected as a trough. The wave is inverted when reflected from a fixed end. So now what I'm going to show you is this. We're going to have a free end. Now in this situation, totally different situation, what we have here is a ring and a post. And this ring is free to just travel up and down the post. In other words, this end is free to move up and down. Now the first thing I want you to ask yourself is, will this wave reflect if the end is not stuck on the wall? Go ahead and predict that. And we'll just see what happens. Here we go. Does the wave reflect? That's the reflected wave. It does reflect, OK? Notice that the wave is reflecting. But what's different about this situation, uh, uh, different than the uh, reflecting from a uh, fixed end? The reflection is not inverted. If you send a crest, a crest is what comes back. Here's the live version of that demo. A free end is created by just tying a rope to one end of the slinky so that end can move back and forth. But you can see in a free end reflection, a crest is sent, and then a crest is what reflects. From a free end, there is wave reflection, but there is no inversion of the wave. A crest is sent and a crest is reflected back. We are going to fill in the blanks here a little bit, and then we're going to explain why this happens. OK, so when reflecting off a fixed end, like a wall, the wave pulse inverts upon reflection. That means it turns upside down. A crest turns into a trough. Now, there's an important explanation for this. When the wave hits the wall, that's where I'm going to stop it, what happens is this spring is pulling up on the wall. The spring pulls up on the wall. What does the wall do to the spring when the spring pulls up on the wall? So because of one law, if the spring pulls up, the wall pulls down. When the spring pulls up on the wall, the wall pulls down on the spring. That is due to Newton's, hold up the number, which law of Newton? Hold that up. That is Newton's third law. That makes good sense. Spring pulls up on the wall, wall pulls down on the spring. However, when, ref uh, when you have a situation where the end is free to move like this, notice that this end just keeps moving up. It keeps moving up. And that pulls the rest of the spring up with it. So if you had to blame one of Newton's laws for that, if this is moving up and it stays moving up. Which of Newton's laws, so the wave pulse, uh, it does not invert when hitting a free end, does not invert. It does reflect, but it does not invert. As the free end goes up, it maintains its velocity upward. So which of Newton's laws says, well, if something can maintain its velocity and there's no forces on it, it will. Which law is that? The first law. Now, actually, there is a, a force on it. It will slow it down. But the main point 
being if the spring is moving up, like every point on the spring is, it'll keep going up that way and pull the rest of the spring up with it. And that's how that works. So we do have reflection regardless of whether it's a fixed end or a free end like it is in this situation. Okay, so this is going to allow us to make the next prediction, which is going to be very important. 